Today we're going to talk about troubleshooting fluorescent lighting. So I just got off the phone with a customer who had asked me about, uh, he's working on a fluorescent sign, uh, it's a, like a sign clock type thing, and he's just troubleshooting, he needs to get it to work again, the clock's not working and the, uh, the lights weren't coming on. Really is what it comes down to is uh, troubleshooting a fluorescent light, which could apply to signs, uh, uh, or businesses, or just home lighting. So when you're troubleshooting lighting, um, you really don't need a multimeter to test it. Um, you basically just you buy fluorescent bulbs, just buy brand new bulbs and test them. If the bulbs work, problem solved. If they do not work, then it's your ballast. Uh, one thing that he had done was he was testing the uh, ballast at the bulb where the bulb goes, and it was uh, he was getting 120 volts. So the uh, you should never see 120 volt or 120 volts at the bulb itself. Um, it should be like millivolts or something like that, so you don't you don't even need to test it. But even without the multimeter, uh, you just basically put the bulbs in there. If it fries the bulbs, then you know it's the ballast. Uh, replace the ballast, and essentially the fi the fixture is uh, repaired. The only test you would use the uh, multimeter for is to test the uh, voltage at the ballast coming into the ballast to make sure it's 120 volts, or if it's like a commercial application like 277. But most small business and residential um, fluorescent lighting is going to be 120 volts so uh, pretty simple fluorescent lighting troubleshooting is quite easy 99% uh, of the time it's the bulb uh, if it's not then it's just the ballast and it's kind of like that's that 20 25 dollar repair normally uh, which most people can do themselves so hope that helps troubleshooting fluorescent lighting have a good day